as for alternative apps from Adobe Photoshop for Mac. These are just some low-cost solutions to the Adobe Photoshop lineup available on Mac OS X. So this first application I'll be reviewing is called Color Strokes. This application is very simple, so essentially how it works is it takes an image, see this image, and it turns it black and white, and then you can change the colors of it. So here we have this cat, and we can make everything black and white except for the cat itself. You can also do the opposite and then blur out the background. It really provides a lot of um, features within a small package. And of course, this application is free of charge. Now I'm not doing a very good job, but you may understand that you can change it, you can grayscale, create color adjustments to the cat, create a blur effect so the cat appears blurry, and change the color saturation. And the hue of the cat. There's also different effects you can use on the cat and on the different levels. So yeah, this is just a feature full and then you can just export and save it or open recent ones if you want to. Change the brush size and continue editing your cat. This is Color Strokes available from the Mac App Store. It's a simple application. And the next app will be Pixelmator, so the application I reviewed yesterday. Essentially allows you to develop any image with a variety of different styles and it's all very cheap in price. To simply drag and drop, different effects, gradients. You can just simply draw shapes as you wish. Fill them in. You can fill them in with specific gradients. Change the direction of the gradients. Add filters to it. Merge layers, dynamic layers. Apply styles. It's just a very nice package, which is very easy to use. So yeah, these are just my quick Photoshop alternatives. You can find this app on the Mac App Store for roughly $20. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.